18 hours to go and a lot of unfinished business left in the legislative session. Late this afternoon, the House passed a bill that would hold back young students who don't read well. Let's get right to News 13's Katie Kim up at the state capitol. Katie? Diane, this is a compromise on the bill that the governor has been pushing for more than a year. The Senate passed a similar version earlier this week, so the bill is getting close to reaching the governor's desk. The debate on the House floor lasted for more than three hours. The bill would let the state hold a student back at any grade from kindergarten to third if they cannot read proficiently. But it also allows the parent to make the final decision, but only if the parent has been involved at every step of intervention and only if the child has a nine. 95% attendance record. The bill passed 47 to 23. Some call it common sense. Others think the bill is a good idea, but still needs work. The scary part of this bill is that it's going to be applied to third graders in a year and a half who didn't have the benefit of all the early work in kindergarten, first grade, second grade. But we're going to be applying these really strict conditions to them. We know scientifically, kindergarten to third grade, they're there to learn to read fourth grade to twelfth. They read to learn. What's not understandable about that? Now there are a lot of other issues lawmakers could vote on tonight, including bills to reform the PRC, which has been plagued by controversy. The bill, however, to strip illegal immigrants of their driver's licenses is all but dead. Back all to right. you. All right. Thank you, Katie. Lawmakers could also take up a bill tonight to send $30 million Albuquerque's way for the Paseo I-25 project. The capital outlay bill pays for local projects, but some rural lawmakers aren't convinced the state should pay for an Albuquerque project.